guys, my name is Carlos Roberto. Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. So today what I'm going to be doing for you guys is a wavy, curly-ish hairstyle. I know a lot of you guys are asking me to do a hairstyle using your natural waves and or slash curls. So I figured today we're going to be doing that because I've been doing it all the time. So today we're not going to be using a round brush comb. We're not going to be using any type of flat iron or anything like that. We will be using the blow dryer because that's all we need. And also we'll be using two products. One, not your mother's texturizing spray to get texture so you can enhance those curly waves slash curly curls slash whatever you have. The second product you're going to be using is a hair product. If it doesn't look good after you've tousled it with the texturizing spray or you like it so much that you want a little bit more hold, it may vary depending on your hair type. So if you need a little bit more of a aggressive hold, we'll be using this chapter hair formula that's mine and Jordan's and it'll be out in January. So we'll be using one more product which this is kind of something that just happens. I don't really consider this a step because it's just such a ritual because I do blow dry my hair every morning after I get out the shower but I use the heat protectant. So get yourself a heat protectant. Let's go ahead and begin this process just styling your natural wavy hair. Let's get into it right now. So now we're going to go ahead and use a blow dryer. What I'm going to be doing as I blow dry is just scrunching my hair up a little bit, tossing it and just making it super messy as I start this process right now. Also real quick, a quick hair hack that I use, I blow dry my hair with my head facing down and just try to get the volume up as much as possible. So when I'm done blow drying, I can have that natural texture and natural volume and it just won't be flat. For those of you wondering how far or how close the blow dryer should be to your hair, the easy way to gauge it is just put your hand on your hair and if you feel like your hand is burning, it's too close to your hair. And if you feel like it's too far away and you can't feel the heat, then put it a little bit closer, but that also depends on the kind of blow dryer you're using. Some of them are weaker than others, some of them are more powerful, so that's how I gauge how close I want the blow dryer to be to my hair is by putting my hand on my head, and if it's burning my knuckles, then that means it's way too close. So now that my hair is pretty much dry, I can still feel a little moisture in there. Now we're gonna apply the texturizing spray. Even though we're not going for that really beachy hair vibe, this just really helps with texture. What's really important is when applying this product, is just you're gonna wanna lift the hair and just kind of apply it underneath the roots because that's where we're gonna need the hole to come from. again but we're gonna put it on the cold setting so that kind of just recreates the act of wind and that's what we want and that's what's gonna lock our hair in place as well so let's go ahead and use the blow dryer on the cold setting If you guys need a little bit more hold or if you guys want to kind of define your waves even more you could definitely use a hair product I'm going to be using the uh, chapter hair cream formula a little bit not that much just to kind of make sure my hair is held in place and it can look a little bit more manicured So yeah guys, this is it. This is a nice wave. This is a curly, wavy hair 
style routine. The Chapter Hair Cream formula will be out in January and the texturizing spray could be found online. It's not your mother's. I'll link it down below and also I'll share with you guys a link that I use for the hair serum heat protectant that you could find anywhere. It doesn't really matter which one it is. I don't think so. I don't really put too much effort and emphasis on finding the correct hair serum. I really enjoy my curls. I really enjoy having wavy hair because it's super easy but it's also super versatile at the same time. And yeah, have fun with your waves if you guys want me to do any more hairstyles or any particular haircut using my wavy natural hair. Um, let me know down below and I'll make sure I do that. Fair, let me know down below and I'll make that happen. So yeah, guys, and don't forget to follow me at Roberto on Instagram and connect with me there. I upload every single day, most of the time. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for signing on my YouTube channel this week. I will see you guys next week. Peace out. Don't forget to post down on everything.